And it is time now for the Mule Train News Program on this Wednesday, August the 26th, 2015. Brought to you today by the First Bank, along with Leal's Mexican Restaurant. At a special session of the Muleshoe City Council Monday evening, the councilman decided not to appoint a replacement for Matt Davies, who has been serving in District 2 on the council. At this time, District 2 will be left vacant until the next election, which will be in May 2016. But at any time, the council can decide to fill that position if they wish. Matt Davis has moved outside the city limits of Muleshoe. The council also decided not to hire the strategic governmental resources to assist in hiring a new city manager to replace David Brunson when he retires at the end of this year. The city has already started advertising for a new city manager online through the Texas Municipal League. Daryl Stevens and Keith Hicks were both re-elected to the board of the Bali County Electric Cooperative Association Tuesday night at their annual meeting at the Civic Center. Employees of the cooperative receiving supervisory certificates from the CEO and manager of the cooperative, uh, David Markle, were Joel Sinclair, Jimmy Seeley, Donnie Richardson, Wesley Resco, Justin Price, John Kelly, Tony Fullen, and Weldon Smith. The master of ceremonies for the business meeting was the attorney for the cooperative, Jamie Laney Phillips. Cub Scout Troop 620 presented the American flag and the Texas flag and the Pledge of Allegiance was given by the audience. The invocation was given by Larry Clausen, who is one of the directors of the cooperative. The other directors are Daryl Stevens, Keith Hicks, Greg Welch, Jerry Nichols, Ronnie Barrett, Keith Layton. Also, Jack Moss out of Lubbock, certified public accountant gave the financial report to the members of the Butter County Electric Cooperative Association. Ricky Warren, executive secretary at the co-op, told about the government and action tour by showing an outstanding video of the young people who went this summer on the tour first they went to Austin and then after touring the state capitol they went on to Washington DC Ronnie Hawkins of Last Buddy and Rachel Whitworth of Muleshoe were the two people who went on the youth government in action tour this past summer sponsored by the Bada County Electric Cooperative Association. Mark Swartz, who is the president and general manager of the Golden Spread Electric Cooperative Association, also showed a video film that was very interesting explaining the um, Bailey County Electric Cooperative's part in the Golden Spread Electric Cooperative, which is made up of 16 member um, cooperatives. Also, door prizes galore were given at the end of the meeting, and Albert Daniel was in charge of that. I think it's very interesting to note that 621 years plus experience is provided by the members of the Bailey County Electric Cooperative Association employees. And among those employees, there are many who have over 30 
years of employment at the local cooperative. David Markle, the president and CEO, has been with the cooperative for 36 years. Curtis Gandy, 38 years. He is a meter reader. And Chuck Smith, engineering superintendent, has been with the cooperative for over 38 years. Kim Black has 31 years, almost 32, and he is the Technical Services and Safety Administrator. Jimmy Seeley, serviceman, over 38 years, and Joel Sinclair, the line superintendent, has been with the cooperative almost 40 years now. And they have an excellent record of keeping their employees. And actually, it is 621 years, seven months, and one week experience for the cooperative employees here headquartered in Millshoe, but also with offices at Martin. It's time now for Five Area Telephone West Plains Telecommunications to bring you the weather forecast for Milshu, Sudan, Amherst, Earth, and our entire area. The official high in Milshu on Tuesday was 91, and the low was 59. On the first day of school, it was so pleasant in Milshu with a high of 88 on Monday and a low of 53. And at 7 o'clock on Wednesday morning, it was 59 degrees here in Milshu. Also, we received on Monday afternoon around uh, 5 o'clock, five one-hundredths of an inch of moisture here in Milshu. And now this message from our sponsor. Five Area Telephone, West Plains Telecommunications, right here in Muleshoe, 302 Uvalde Street, 806-272-5533, offering phone and internet and more services coming in the very near future to Five Area Telephone, where you can check them out online at www.fiveareacom And this edition of the Weather Forecast is brought to you today by Five Area. Sunny today on Wednesday for the Muleshoe area. Highs in the lower 90 southwest wind. 5 to 10 miles per hour, shifting to the south this afternoon. Partly cloudy tonight with a low in the mid-60s. South winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Mostly sunny on Thursday. A 20% chance of thunderstorms Thursday afternoon. Highs in the mid-90s. Southwest winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. Then mostly cloudy Thursday evening, becoming partly cloudy. Lows in the mid-60s. Partly sunny on Friday with a 20% chance of thunderstorms for the Muleshoe area. Highs in the lower 60s. Mostly cloudy Friday evening, then becoming partly cloudy. A 20% chance of thunderstorms again, lows in the lower 60s. Sunny for the weekend on Saturday, high around 90 degrees. Mostly clear Saturday night, lows in the lower 60s. Sunday sunny, high in the lower 90s. Mostly clear Sunday night, lows in the lower 60s. Five area telephone, West Plains Telecommunications has presented to you this edition of the weather forecast. Mackenzie Bruton, granddaughter of Nelda and Robert Hunt of Milshu, graduated Friday from the Texas State Technical College in Abilene. Mackenzie Bruton attended the Breckenridge campus of TSTC and received her licensed vocational nurse degree. The pinning ceremony was held Thursday night in Breckenridge. Attending the graduation were her parents, Larry and Tori Widener of Bovina, her grandparents, Robert and Nelda Hunt of Muleshoe, and her aunts, LaVon Hunt of Muleshoe and Sheila Black of Lubbock. And Mackenzie were surprised by her two aunts who attended the graduation in Abilene as she did not know that they were coming. She also has a brother, Dakota Bruton, who lives in Bovina. Mackenzie Bruton is a 20. 
2012 graduate of Breckenridge High School and plans to work in Abilene now as an LVN and pursue her registers, registered nurse degree. Her mother is the former Tori Hunt, who was reared here in Millshoe. Congratulations to Mackenzie Bruton. We'll be back with more Mule Train news in just one moment. Please stay tuned. It is back to school time, and the First Bank has your MasterCard Debit Card School Spirit Editions available now for the Mule Shoe Mules, Dimmit Bobcats, and the Bovina Mustangs. Call or come by today, 202 South 1st Street, 806-272-4515. The First Bank right here in Mule Shoe. Show your team spirit and earn cash for your school every time you swap your School Spirit MasterCard Debit Card. Again, available for the Mule Shoe Mules, Dimmit Bobcats, or Bovina Mustangs today, 202 South 1st. Street 806-272-4515. The First Bank is member FDIC and an equal housing lender. And the First Bank, along with Leal's Mexican Restaurant, brings you this edition of the Mule Train News. Do you have family in town? Well, if you do, come to Leal's, where families come together. Leal's is a family business that started in Mule they are located at 1010 West American Boulevard and serve the best of Mexican food and other treats. See you at Liao's. That's where my family goes when we are in town. Brian Cox, 401 South 1st Street here in Mealshoe, where they have a selection of easy care and weather all paint 50% off now at Frying Cox. All sales are final. All of their dog food while supplies last is half off and pet supplies excluding buckets 50% off now, which includes dog treats, collars, toys, and more. They have 50% off a clearance table at Frying Cox here in Mealshoe, and they have wedding shower selections for Bradley Lennon and Jordan Heater along with Todd Criswell and Ashley Beggs. Fall is right around the corner, and they're getting ready at 401 South 1st Street, Frying Cox, where don't forget, select uh, Easy Care Weatherall paint now 50% off, and all their dog food while supplies last is half off at Frying Cox here in Mule Shoe. The first football games for Mule Shoe High School will be Thursday here at Benny Douglas Stadium when the freshmen and JV Mules take on the Leveland Lobos. The first game will be freshmen at 5 and then followed at about 6.30 by the JV game at Benny Douglas Stadium Thursday night here in Mule Shoe. Of course, the varsity Mules will travel on on Friday to Leveland to their new Lobo Stadium. Game time 7.30 and all games this season start at 7.30. Jim Daniel, Quentin Poe and Gil Robert Reynolds will be there for us and we will be showing on Saturday delayed broadcasts of the entire game here on Reach Broadband Channel 6 in Milshew. Sudan and Earth and also online you'll find it on MuleshoeTV.com our Twitter and our Facebook backslash Gil Lamb and that will be highlights of the Friday night game not just this weekend but every weekend wherever the mules roam and the season will be brought to you by Terry Burton Service Center, K&K Pharmacy, Muleshoe Animal Clinic and Muleshoe Vet Supply, Muleshoe Housing Authority, Muleshoe Independent School District, the Body County Electric Cooperative Association, Mohawk Auto Parts, Hereford Feed Ingredients, the Muleshoe State Bank, Shipman Body Shop and Autoplex, Barrett Potato Farms, Wilson Drilling, McDonald's, in Mule Shoe. Five Area Telephone, West Plains Telecommunication, WTG Fuels. In cooperation with Farmers Insurance Group and Julie De Bruin, Lee Al's Tortilla Factory, 
Irrigation Pumps and Power Incorporated and State Farm Insurance Agency. It's only because of these mule she mule merchants that we can broadcast the delayed game. Don't forget, the reserve seat tickets are still on sale at the school administration office here in Milshu at 514 West Avenue G through next Monday for those who held reserve seats tickets last year. Now, there are five home games, and it will be $35 for the season. The office is open weekdays from 7.30 in the morning to 4.30 in the afternoon. And then on Monday, all remaining tickets will go on sale on a first-come, first-served basis. Any reserved seats remaining after the season starts, which will be when we play Seagraves here at Benny Douglas Stadium. So that will be for quite some time. That game will be September the 11th. And you can buy those tickets for one game at the administration office on game day for $8 per seat. And also, don't forget that the Watson Junior High School football teams will not be playing until a couple of weeks from now. Their first games will be here in Milshew, and they will host Seagraves on September the 10th. Admission to all home games starting Thursday night for the freshman and JV will be adults $3 and students and college students included $2 per game. The Muleshoe High School Mighty M Marching Band Drum Major for 2015-16 school year is Allegra Mara and Marilyn Melendez. You'll want to be sure and enjoy the halftime performance of our Mighty M Band. And you'll also enjoy now here online and on the air on Channel 6 our interviews with little children who went to school for the very first time ever in their lives on Monday. So be sure and watch those. The school shoe drive is in progress right now, sponsored by the members of the Calvary Baptist Church of Millshoe. What they ask you to do is to donate your gently used shoes and also your brand new shoes to this shoe drive by leaving them now through September the 9th at the Calvary Baptist Church 18th and Avenue C, Williams General Store, Evolve, 16th and D, Church of Christ, First Baptist Church, First United Methodist Church, or the Cowboy Fellowship. Now, also, they can use monetary donations. Send them to Calvary Baptist Church, Post Office Box 378, Mule Shoe 79347 is our zip code. And in the memo line, just write Shoe Drive. On Saturday morning, September the 12th, the shoes will be distributed here in Mule Shoe between 9 and 11 o'clock at the Fellowship Hall of the Calvary Baptist Church. Our bargain basement at the Parkview Nursing Care Center, they need to hire full-time LVNs and CNAs, both. Apply in person at 1100 West Avenue J. That's need to hire at the Parkview Nursing Care Center in Millshoe, full-time licensed vocational nurses and also and certified nurses aides apply at the Parkview Nursing Care Center here in Millshoe 
1100 West Avenue J or call 806-272-7578. Want to do yard work, odd jobs, and window cleaning? Call Leslie Brinkley at 806-231-3962. And this has been The Bargain Basement. We'll be back with more Mule Train news in one moment. Williams General Store 1405 West American Boulevard right here in Muleshoe where you can get ready for Friday night football with their lighted metal art that comes with a remote control. They have some in Muleshoe uh, shapes, also star shapes. They have wedding shower selections now for Hillary tips as well. Southern gray shirts for women and little girls. Sweeter than sweet tea, faith, believe, faith above everything and more in the Southern gray shirts now available at Williams General Store. They have winter sandals for women and men that are new in the Sanook brand. All athletic shoes are marked to go out the door now and don't forget they are one of the locations where you can come in and buy shoes or drop them off that you have a gently uh, worn or new shoes for the Calvary shoe drive. All athletic shoes again are marked to go out the door and they have a special selection of shoes for that shoe drive. Mule Shoe Texas shirts and hats. Big Bass Fish Boots by Los Tres Vaqueros. Also, Chocolate Reverse Quill by Tony Lama. Nakona Boots, Smooth Ostrich. Tech and Longhorn uh, College Boots by Nakona. And they can also, also special order any college boots for you at Williams General Store, 1405 West American Boulevard. The Swing Bed Program is now available at the Mule Shoe Area Medical Center for the patient who is no longer in need of acute medical care but is not yet comfortable functioning independently at home. Call today for more information about the Swing Bed Program, 806-272-4524. The Mule Sherry Medical Center is located at 708 South 1st Street, right here in Mule Shoe. Amanda Messenger Shelton announces that the Taste Tour benefit for the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation will be held in Lubbock on Friday evening, October the 2nd from 7 until 11 in the evening at the Stone Creek Event Center, which is located three miles north of 4th Street on Milwaukee Avenue. This will be an evening of fine dining, wine tasting, live and silent auctions, as well as a live band performing. All proceeds will benefit those in West Texas affected by the cystic fibrosis disease, including families right here in Muleshoe. Now, you can purchase tickets at the door or go online to purchase tickets, either one. And it is never too late to sponsor a table by contacting Amanda Shelton at Amanda Shelton at gmail.com. That's on October the 2nd in Lubbock. Long hot days are drying out soil and grasses across much of the Lone Star State of Texas, prompting a gentle reminder from the Bailey County Farm Bureau Office to be fire wise. We were blessed with timely spring and summer rains, Kim Bales, president of the Bailey County Farm Bureau, says. Unfortunately, the heat has burned much of that off. We now have plenty of dry grasses that could catch fire in an instant if people are not careful. Kim Bales encourages drivers to refrain from tossing lit cigarettes or any other flammable materials out on the roadway areas. People using grills are also asked to keep hot materials off dry grass and away from homes and barns. It is important that we work together to prevent as many fires as possible and to save lives, property, 
and residences. To lessen the likelihood of a fire, keep tall grass, dry leaves, and anything flammable at least 30 feet away from all structures. Avoid parking in tall grass also, as vehicle exhaust could spark a fire. Observe local burn bans. Bailey County is not currently in a burn ban. The Bailey County Farm Bureau 2015 Annual Convention will be held Saturday night, September 19th at 7 o'clock at the Bailey County Electric Cooperative Association meeting room. There will be food, prizes, thank you bags, and more. Everything is free for members. Memberships will be available to purchase at the door for $40. Only one membership per family is required. If you're over the age of 24, you are required to have your own membership in the Bailey County Farm Bureau. The first Kids First at the First Baptist Church will be next Tuesday at 3.30 at the Activity Center in downtown Milshoe, Robin Salazar says. Mother's Day Out at the First Baptist Church Fellowship Hall will begin on Thursday, September the 3rd, next week, and you can register your preschool children at the First Baptist Church office here in Milshoe. On your prayer list, please remember the two people who were killed on live TV Wednesday morning shortly before 7 in Roanoke, Virginia. Allison Parker, only 24 years of age, and Adam Ward, 27. And please remember all of their families and also their co-workers and friends. And also remember Vicki Gardner, who was the head of the Chamber of Commerce in that area. And she is in stable condition after surgery on Wednesday morning. Please remember all of these who are friends and family of these people who were killed and also the people who have been injured in so many ways. Also remember all of those who are fighting fires, especially in the western part of our United States, and those families who have lost loved ones, who are firefighters, and also the men who have been injured by the wildfires. Remember Jody Barrett on your prayer list and little 11-month-old Reed Markle, the youngest son of Ryan and Morgan Markle, who had a brain tumor removed, and it was malignant last week in Lubbock. Also remember Robert Schaefer, who is in the hospital in Lubbock, Angel Hunt, Cassie Crandall, Bobby Burris and his wife Arva D., Bob Alexander of Bandera, the father of Julie K. Jamilshu, a new resident at our Parkview, and all of our residents at the Parkview Nursing Care Center, and the nurses and staff and administration who work with them and in our hospital. The family of Joyce Bennett, 57 of Amarillo, the mother of Mrs. Dana Wagner of Milshu. The family of Jerry Haley, remember Jana Finke of Spring, the daughter of Diane and James Brown of Milshu, Always Buck and Carolyn Johnson, Viola and Soldua, Joellen Cowart, who had surgery in Dallas just recently, and her husband Barry and their family. Little two year old. Eliza Dodd uh, Pertalis, her mother is the farmer, Jana Foster of Mule Shoe, and Francis Miramontes 
and her husband Philip and Delmer Clements and his wife Pat all in our prayers. Well, it is just about time for us to go on this edition of the Mule Train News Mule Program Train! brought to you today by the First Bank along with Liao's Mexican Mule Restaurant. You can hear our latest Mule Train News Program rotating on Reach Broadband Channel 6 as well as find the last several months worth of Mule Train News Programs free of charge on demand. MuleshoeTV.com on our website. Click on the Mule Train News link at the top center of the page. This is Tumbleweed Smith. A backyard golf course in Henderson. Details in a moment on the Sound of Texas. And the Sounds of Texas are brought to you here on Reach Broadband Channel 6 by Bailey County Electric Cooperative Association with offices in Muleshoe, as well as in Morton, the board of directors, the members, the employees, the manager, CEO, uh, David Markle. I hope that you enjoy this Sounds of Texas program with Tumbleweed Smith. They're celebrating over 76 years of rural electrification right here in the Muleshoe area. Check them out online, bcecoop.com. Brad Holmes of Henderson built a golf course around his house. I never was a real good golfer, but I've always enjoyed the game. And even all the way back in A&M in surveying class, our gang laid out some of those very first fairways at A&M. And now they're just beautiful like country clubs. And I thought, I think I'll get my clubs out and see if I could create a 100-yard par 3 fairway right there in the front yard. So I cleared, mowed, and trimmed, and built a cup and a flag and started shooting for that green and began really enjoying it. So I built two more par threes in the front yard and then kept clearing them more and then worked out a very unique par four. I was having a lot of fun with that. This was my wife's old old home, you know, goes back years and years and years and I thought I think I'll try to create a real golf course and so I started by borrowing a bush hog and chainsaws <laughs> and uh, began clearing. I cleared 26 acres in the backyard. I've got a couple of uh, mean par fives and some real mean uh, fours you really can't see the main course at all from the front yard. Passing by in a car, you can't really see it's there. He calls his golf course the Urban Club. There are requirements to be a member. You have to put up with me for nine holes. He has equipment to keep the grass short. Brad does the mowing himself. It takes me about an hour to do a fairway. He built the golf course for one reason. My relatives all play golf. And a lot of my friends play golf, and that's all it's for. Brad has a dependable dog named Mutt. When I pull a, a wood out, he'll move farther out. If I use an iron, he'll come in closer. If I slice or hook, he'll bring the balls out in the fairway and improve my life. Brad Holmes used to be the mayor of Henderson. I'm Tumbleweed Smith with The Sound of Texas. Time for the market report brought to you today by Stephen DeMint, financial advisor, right here in Muleshoe with Edward Jones, member SIPC. He's located in his office at 104 West 2nd Street. Call 806-272-4102. Stephen can assist you with any of your financial needs, no matter where you live. The market report was recorded this Wednesday, August the 26, 2015 at 10 45 a.m. U.S. stocks are higher to start the day as global markets showed signs of regaining their footing after an extended loss fueled by growth concern. The advance is broad-based as all 10 S&P sectors are positive. On the economic front, orders for durable goods rose in July for the second straight month, suggesting improving optimism among businesses. Treasuries are lower to begin the day. So far this morning, the S&P 500, the best-performing sector is technology, while the worst performing sector is utilities. The Dow Jones Industrial Average is up 243.26 at 15,909.70. The Standard & Poor's 500 Index is up 34.02 to 1,901.63. The Nasdaq Composite Index is up 72.89 to 4,579.37. This morning, volume on the New York Stock Exchange is high with about 
331.40 million shares traded. Advancers are outnumbering decliners by roughly 3 to 1 margin. In commodity markets, the spot price of gold is down $16.13 to $1,124.27. The spot price of silver is down 53 cents to $14.15. And crude oil prices are down 16 cents to $39.15. In the bond markets, the 30-year Treasury yield is currently 2.89%, and the 10-year Treasury yield is is 2.12 percent. Some stocks of area interest. Apple Incorporated is up 3.76 to 107.51. Exxon Mobil Corporation is up 2.78 to 71.50. Microsoft Corporation is up 0.96 to 41.38. Excel Energy Incorporated is up 0.11 to 33.19. And General Mills Incorporated is up 0.22, uh, 0.24 to 55.05. The market report has been brought to you today by Stephen Dement financial advisor right here in Milshu with Edward Jones. Member SIPC 806-272-4102. He's in his office at 104 West 2nd Street. You can get more market information on his website at www.edwardjones.com.